Hey, John Cristana here. I've been advertising online since 2009, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to set up LinkedIn ads. First, we're gonna set, figure out whatever your goal is. We're gonna figure out, we're gonna set up your page. We're gonna set up an ad account, and then we're gonna actually set up some ads, and we're gonna do that on my computer. I'm gonna go in LinkedIn and show you how to do everything soup to nuts. Let's go. Now, I've been running my own internet business for a number of years. Uh, we've been doing a couple million dollars a year for the past few years, and I don't have any employees. And my whole business is based off of advertising. So I always experiment around with different ad networks, and LinkedIn ads is kind of interesting network that I've experimented around with. So the first thing you wanna do is figure out what is your goal with advertising on LinkedIn. Are you trying to find employees for a job? Are you trying to get press for yourself? Are you trying to make money through affiliate marketing or through selling a product? Now, if you're trying to make money through affiliate marketing, LinkedIn's kind of hard. There's some serious restrictions I'll go into a little bit later that make it hard for affiliate marketers to work out very well on it, but that being said, if you have a very niche product, let's say an investment field or some very high ticket item, you may be able to make money. But again, most of LinkedIn ads should be directed business to business. LinkedIn ads don't work very well for business to consumer items. That's why affiliate marketing is hard. Um, but business to business stuff is the best if you're selling software, tools, or stuff like that. So to get started, here we are on my LinkedIn page and uh, you go to linkedin.com obviously. You wanna go over here to where it says work, okay? Now, just to show you, to start things off though, let's, let's look at what an ad actually looks like. We have the ads over here. This is an ad for WeWork, which says office space in LA. Again, this is a business to business ad because they're advertising to people who have businesses. We see WeWork. And the other place where ads show up is right over here on the right side. So there's some ads that show up on the right side that are a bit smaller. So we'll come over here to work, and then we'll go over here to advertise. Now, if you haven't set up a page for whatever you're going to advertise yet, you're gonna to need to do this first, okay? Set up a company page. It's very easy, we'll just click create a company page. We'll say small business, and you'll fill out the information of whatever it is you want. Make sure you set up a company page before you advertise because you will need a company page in order to advertise on LinkedIn. So we'll click over here to advertise and let's get started. So here we are on LinkedIn and you simply just create ads. What's great is they have access to 560 million people on their platform. So there are a lot of people that use LinkedIn so it can be a very effective place to reach professional or corporate audiences. Now, I had set up a page called Entrepreneur Education, which I used to uh, test out some advertising. And let's look at that over here, okay? So once we're in campaign, you can see it says campaign performance. So for the sake of time, I'm actually gonna go straight into a campaign I've already set up um, for my product, which is the Super Affiliate System, which is my training course. Okay, so you wanna make sure we're in campaign groups, get out of that, you wanna go over to campaigns. The main spaces you'll be working is campaigns and ads, okay? So I'm gonna click over here and we see BizOp webinar, okay? So I'm gonna go in here and click manage. So when I mouse over, just click manage right there. If you wanna create a new campaign, you would select create campaign right there. But you're gonna actually get to see a campaign that I already set up, um, which is pretty, pretty good, and you'll see some of the targeting that I use in my advertising campaigns. So here it is, I set up some countries that I know convert very well for my product. I included you know, some smaller uh, expat countries and also United States and Canada. Okay, now what's cool about LinkedIn is you can add job functions. So if you know there's typical jobs that people do that use your product, you can add those job functions. It's really exciting. So if I know a lot of people that I am marketing to are interested in entrepreneurship, I can simply add that in and test that out, okay? 
say, okay, let's just advertise to people in entrepreneurship. Now, then we can also target people by age. So you can target people by age categories. You just click add member age and whatever age your users are, um, that's great. You can target by gender. Again, you simply check the box and you'll see the target audience size will change based on how, what your targeting settings are. What's great is it also gives you an uh, estimate of your click-through rate and how many daily clicks you can expect. This helps you forecast your results in advance to give you an idea of how much money you can make. So for instance, if you know that a certain affiliate product you're selling has a 1% conversion rate, you know that you can expect, you know, from 200 clicks, you can expect about two conversions per month, okay? Now that's not a lot, two conversions per month, unless you're selling a product that has a huge, huge price tag. But this is great because it gives you an idea of, you know, it depends on what is your goal. If you, if you are marketing a product and your goal is to get, you know, 50 new leads or 100 new leads a day and you know your landing page has a 20% opt-in rate, then you know that you need, to, then you need to reach, you need to get about 500 clicks per day. This 30-day click number would need to be about 15,000 for you to support your company's marketing efforts. So that would give you a real good idea of how to do your audience sizes and how to test everything based on you or your company's goals. Okay, so in my case, I use a video ad. Again, I'm selling a, what's called a complex product and video just always works better. It always works better. I've never seen an instance where a good video ad it works doesn't work as good as a good image ad. It tells a story. If an image is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a thousand images. So it just, there's no comparison. And videos, if they, you know, they don't cost anything more to advertise. Now, I always leave this off. The LinkedIn Audience Network places your ads on other websites around the internet based on your targeting preferences. Now, unless you're doing something like remarketing or whatnot, this won't be very effective. Again, the rest of the internet is a big, scary place. You, you have a very controlled environment within LinkedIn, but the opportunity for fraudulent advertising spend to happen outside of LinkedIn greatly increases. So the way I do advertising is I always focus on the main platform first. In this case, it's LinkedIn and get that profitable and get that working. And then if I want to try to increase volume, I would enable this, this LinkedIn audience network to see if I can get more sales for my money. In this case, I had select, I'd added conversion tracking and I selected maximize for clicks and I set my bids to automate it. Let's go into the next. Now, here's an example of the advertisements that I used for my own advertising campaign on LinkedIn. And if you wanna see a, a preview of my ad, here, we're gonna preview it right here. So you see, I did entrepreneur education. I have a video, how to make money online. And I used a uh, tagline that I know works from my Facebook advertising. So my goal is to get people to sign up for, for my webinar, which if you're watching YouTube, you can also sign up for a free training. The link's in the description. But this is how I advertised my course on LinkedIn. Now you can also view it on mobile, but I don't believe I was placing any advertisements on mobile devices. So that's how I used LinkedIn ads. And uh, LinkedIn ads can be an effective place to advertise for your business. But generally speaking, I would stay away from LinkedIn ads if you're advertising a product that is B2C or meant for consumers. If, you're, if you have a product or a tool or a software that's helpful for businesses and business owners, um, LinkedIn can be very valuable. So that's where I would focus on LinkedIn if I were to test it again. Um, one major problem I have with LinkedIn is that they do set a bid, they have a bid floor. Um, so if we, if we went back here a second, we would see that if I set a maximum bid, so do you see this right here? Okay. Bid needs to be at least $4.25. Let me zoom in on this because this is actually a really big problem with LinkedIn advertising, which is why I don't believe it's a good place to advertise. 
see this right here, bid needs to be at least $4.25. Now, that's pretty nuts. To be paying $4.25 minimum for a click is outrageous, okay? You can make money from that on, I mean, I, I spend about $4 per click on Facebook and it works out, but it's not where you start. It's not where you test. You work up to being able to spend that much with an optimized campaign. It makes no sense why LinkedIn is requiring such a high cost per click and they don't even have that many advertisers. So this is outrageous and until they get rid of their bid floor, that's what this is called, a bid floor, meaning you can't, the floor is set at 425. Uh, I don't think LinkedIn is a very effective place to advertise unless you are selling business to business goods and services and tools and software that are very expensive and have a very large value. That's my take on LinkedIn ads. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you got some value from this, give a, give a like. If you have any questions for me or comments or if there's a particular part about what I showed you today that you'd like to learn more about, leave me a comment um, in the comments. And to see more videos and free trainings from me, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell too so you'll be informed of live streams that I do in the future. Take her easy. Thanks for watching.